This summer, KTLA has partnered with the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California for our Be Water Wise Wednesdays. It's all about raising awareness about the drought and information about uh, products and services. This morning, the focus is on our trees. We think about the grass all the time. What about the trees? Uh, joining me is Urban Forestry Manager Michelle Bagnato for treepeople.org. Welcome. Thank you. So Thanks yeah, for having us. Yeah, so we talk about the plants, we talk about the grass. What about the trees? What's happening to the trees during the drought? Well, the trees really suffer during the drought. They Need, they continue to need water. So you hear back off on water, back off on water. The trees, in order for LA to stay really healthy and vital, we've got to take care of the trees. Yeah. So we're working really hard on caring for thousands of trees with hundreds of community volunteers going out and helping watering our trees. And the reason why the trees we're, we want to keep them healthy yeah. is because they're going to continue to clean the air, right. they're going to provide the shade we need when it's really hot, and when it does rain, they're going to capture the water, put it in the ground, and eventually we might be able to drink that water. So uh, I've been told that the roots are vulnerable, vulnerable yeah. and to gophers. Yes. Isn't that crazy? So it's something we don't often think about. We always want to trap those guys and, you know, put them somewhere where they want to, where we want them to be. but. In this case, what's happening, this is an actual 15 to 20 year old tree from, uh, from Coldwater Canyon Park where mm -hmm. Tree People's headquarters are. And this is a really old tree. And what normally happens is, is a gopher will eat the really yummy, juicy roots at the top. They're so thirsty and nutrient deprived that the gophers are now going for the deeper, bigger roots of an oak. This is an oak tree. Wow. And chewing away, and you can actually see the teeth marks of the gopher. So and the gophers getting moisture out of out of this root. Yes, they're getting the moisture from the root. So the, we're fought, we found about three of our trees, 20 year old trees at Coldwater Canyon Park, have just fallen over. Wow. So so what we want to do is get more water in the ground. Um, we're back where the city of LA is saying yes, they agree. Water your trees. People are saying I don't know, it's the drought. I don't want to use that much water. Mm -hmm. Put a bucket of water. Put a bucket under your shower. Let capture that cold water before the water gets hot. Um, you can maybe they're suggesting don't water your lawn as much. Instead, use that water and water your trees because again, the health benefits of trees for the city of LA. Uh, what about palm trees? They're not native to our state. We see them everywhere. Do they need more water? You know, uh, palm trees are beautiful and they're cer certainly iconic for Los Angeles. Um, they're more like a grass, so their root system is very, very shallow, and um, they don't need as much water. Mm -hmm. um, however, they also don't provide the, as many of the benefits as a shade tree. So we really promote real, true shade trees at Tree People. Tell me very quickly, how sure. do I water a tree? So the key to a really healthy tree is um, when, you, when, you, un, when you see a tree in the ground, it's going to have a lot of grass. You want to get rid of all that grass. You okay. want to put something called mulch around it, which basically comes from trees. Okay. It acts like a blanket on the roots. Ah. Yeah. So, so it keeps keep, the water down there. Yes, exactly. It Excellent. keeps it moist. It keeps it, it keeps it warm. It keeps it cool. Mulch. We say mulch is magic at Tree People. We love mulch. Mulch is magic. Mulch all right, Michelle, we've got to run, but uh, Michelle Bagnato, treepeople.org, great information. Tree People hosting a free community sustainable workshop on Saturday, September 13th for residents who want to learn how to harvest rainwater, rip up their uh, lawns, and plant drought-tolerant plants. For more information about Tree People and their response to the drought, go to KTLA.com. Be Water Wise Wednesdays, sponsored by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.